What is going on YouTube? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to have another installment of the Cold Case Vanished and Missing podcast for Wednesday where I like to cover some of the colder cases that are out there. Today we'll be going over the missing persons case of Darian Michelle Hudson who went missing out of Stillwater, Oklahoma on the 22nd of October 2017. At the time of her disappearance, Darian was 23 years old, 5'3", 120 pounds, with brown, with brown eyes and black hair. At the time of her disappearance, she was wearing a white t-shirt, blue jeans, and possibly a dark colored coat. For unspecified reasons, Hudson's loved ones believe that she may have been going through a mental crisis at the time of her disappearance. She does have a tattoo on the back of her right shoulder consisting of a large feather, five small birds, and the words, birds of a feather flock together, in script underneath. A <clears throat> she also has her nose pierced. Her nicknames are D and D-Baby. Darian Hudson went missing from Stillwater on October the 22nd of 2017 when her parents were notified that no one could reach her. They went to Stillwater and checked her home in the 500 block of West 5th Street. The door was open, the light was on, and there were dishes in the sink, but there were no obvious signs of foul play. Hudson's cell phone and other belongings were left behind at the home. Her parents reported her missing on October the 28th. About a month after Darian was last seen, a man tried to use her credit card at a hotel in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and the police were alerted. They traced the man who said that he found the card in a purse that he stole from a construction site in Stillwater. The St. Francis Xavier Catholic Church, which was being built at McElroy Road and Country Club Road northwest of town, was where this construction site allegedly was. The man said that he had seen Hudson's purse hanging from a drainage pipe and he took it. The police visited the construction site and spoke to numerous workers there and two of them said that they had seen a woman matching Darian's description on the 26th of October, four days after her initial disappearance. The woman was sitting on the ground in a wooded area south of the church. When the two workers went to check on her, she looked at them blankly. They told their boss, and a group of workers went to go talk to the woman again, but she wouldn't speak to them. A local resident who lives east of the church saw the same woman later that day, emerging from the woods and talking to his grandchildren. Another resident nearby saw the woman sitting on construction equipment on the evening of October 26th, acting as if she was waiting for someone to give her a ride. There were no other sightings, but a search of the area with dogs and drones turned up Hudson's sweatshirt and wallet. Prior to her disappearance, Darian had been working as a server at Chili's Restaurant on Perkins Road for about two years. She had recently suffered a miscarriage, broken up with her boyfriend, and lost her cherished dog. On October the 21st, she had told her parents that she wanted to move back in with them in Wichita, Kansas, and they said that she could. She did not have a vehicle at the time of her disappearance. The circumstances of Darian Hudson's disappearance are unclear. She did previously attend Langston University, where she played softball. Anyone that has information on this case is asked to get in contact with the Stillwater Police Department at 405-742-8357. To this day, her parents are still searching for her, and they're not giving up hope, guys. And we have seen cases where people are found well after 30, 40 years. So it's not beyond the realm of reason that in this particular case, Darian Michelle Hudson could be found after five years of being missing. The concern is for her emotional and mental stability at the time of her disappearance. And of course, leaving all of her belongings behind like that is pretty ominous. And, you know, we do have the reported sightings of her where she seemed distant and things of that nature, which obviously is a red flag as well. I do 
think that we need to keep Darian and her family in your prayers and thoughts, and we do need to share her face out across social media. Let's not let Darian's disappearance be forgotten. Let's keep her face out there. Let's try to light a new fire under the investigation, and let's try to bring her home safe. Give the video a like. It does help more people to see Darian's face, and the more people that see Darian, the better the chances are that we can bring her home safe. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, consider clicking that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out, and if you ring that notification bell, you'll always be alerted when I post another missing persons video. The most important thing that you can do to help Darian and to help her family is to give this video a share. Click that share button and share this on your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, wherever you have social media. It takes one second of your time to do, and it can make all the difference in the world in whether we're able to find Darian and bring her home safe. As always, I do want to thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Y'all be kind to one another out there, and let's bring Darian home safe.